All right. So I want us to consider the last question of our exercise that is uh, on exercise two, which is question number five. Uh, on this question, which is where we are given O as the center of the circle. So that was the point we are having here at uh, you here. So there is a point O which we are supposed to have. So remember, we are supposed to calculate these lettered angles that we are given. So we are going to see which one is easier to calculate according to the laws that we have. Uh, remember, we can consider the issue of the chord or the idea of the chord. So let us take this B, C. I want you to take this chord B to C. You consider this chord B, C. This chord B, C is creating uh, an angle that is at U. So if you consider this angle at U is created by B, C, this, chord, uh, this angle here. It also creates an angle at D, at the circumference. So what do we know about this? We know that angles that are created or angles that are subtended by the same chord. On the same side of the circle, they are equal. So if this angle is 40 degrees, it follows that also uh, the angle U is equal to uh, 40 degrees. So the reason being that the angles subtended by the same chord, they are equal at the same side of the circle. All right, with the same chord BC, we are going to see that it creates also an angle here, but this time it is not creating at the circumference but it is creating this angle at the center where the center, which is the point uh, V is. is the same chord BC, but this on this part, it was creating two angles at the circumference of the circle. But this one, it is creating at the center, not the circumference. So what is the condition? We know that this angle at the center is twice, which is two times the angle at the center at the circumference, I mean. So that means our angle V is going to be two times uh, the angle at the circumference, which is two times 40 degrees. And that is going to give us 80 degrees. So the angle at V was going to be 80 degrees. All right. So this is our angle V, the angle that is at the center. So this angle at the center is 80 degrees. All right. The angle at the circumference, which is this one, in case that we were given the one at the center, then we want to calculate this. You were supposed to divide by two. So to determine the one at the circumference, given the one at the center, you divide by two. But given at the circumference, to find the one at the center, you multiply by, by two. So that is the idea there. So this is the reason that you were supposed to give uh, on this part. All right, let us consider another part of our triangle and see how we're supposed to attempt uh, these other questions. If you consider again with the same concept that is uh, the one that we applied here, we have it on this side of AB, the chord AB, this chord AB that we are seeing here. It is creating an angle. So if you consider this chord here, it is the one that created the angle at the circumference, which is angle E, this one, at the circumference. That is our chord AB. The same chord AB is creating the angle at the center, which is the angle X at the center. So it follows that angle X, which is the angle at the center, this one is two times the angle that is at the circumference. So angle X is going to be two times uh, 21 uh, degrees, and this is going to give us uh, 42 degrees. All right, so that is our angle X. This angle here is uh, 42 degrees. So that is how we could have uh, calculated this angle. All right, considering the same chord, uh, let's go back to this BC. Let's finish about this chord BC. The chord BC created the angle of 40 degrees at D is the same chord which is creating an angle at A, which is the angle T. So it also follows that from the same chord 
which gave us angle U of uh, 40 degrees. We also have angle T, which is equal to 40 degrees. Angle subtended by the same chord, subtended by the chord BC. All right. So that is BC creates an angle of 40 degrees at D. It creates an angle of 40 degrees at E. It also creates an angle of 40 degrees at point A, which is at, uh, at T. So T is uh, 40 degrees. All right, there we need to find Z and also this Y at this point. All right, so if we are to consider Z and Y, these two angles, they are the same, they're equal. All right, A to O, which is from point O to point A, that's a radius, all right? Then from point O to C, that's another radius. So we understand that these two, they are equal. From point O to point A and C, these two are equal. The radius is supposed to be the same. So the angles that are opposite these sides, which are equal, they are also supposed to be equal. So that's the angle at A and the angle at C are equal. That's the angle Y and the angle Z, they are equal. All right, so how am I going to calculate this angle, which is the angle Y, this one, or the angle Z, since they are equal? So I'm saying angle Z is equal uh, to angle Y. Angle Y and angle Z are equal. All right, so how are we going to calculate this? Using the angles in a triangle, remember that angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees. So inside this triangle, there is an 80 degrees at V. Remember, our angle V is, what, is 80 degrees. So to find one of these angles, we are going to subtract these two angles inside of the triangle, the angle X, which is 42 degrees, and the angle V, which is uh, 80 degrees. So that is uh, 42 degrees plus 80 degrees. We are going to subtract these two angles, then divide by two. Why dividing by two? Remember I said these two angles are equal. So by obtaining the difference, we are having these two angles, but they are equal. So we have to divide by what? By two. So that means the angle Y, which is equal to the angle Z, is going to be taken from this. Uh, that is going to be 29 uh, degrees. So it means angle Y in this case is 29 degrees. Angle Z is also 29 degrees. So that's what we had on this circle. What you need is to make sure that you understand your theorems, work with your theorems, and also understand the properties of a shapes. The properties of a triangle, angles in a triangle, they add up to 180 degrees, considering the idea that if you are given an isosceles triangle or you are given a condition that these two sides are equal, it follows that the angles that are opposite these sides, they are also equal. So meaning to say if this is 50 degrees and this is 50 degrees, we can also use this as a reverse. We can reverse this that if these angles are also equal, the sides are supposed to be also equal. So it can be a reverse that you can take it from the angles. It can be taken from the sides. So if you are given sides, then the angles opposite equal sides, angles that are opposite equal sides, they are supposed to be also equal in value. So that is the idea that you are going to apply on this concept. And also, like I said, know or understand every property that you are given about the shapes and also the theorems. That's how to attempt these questions uh, in this syllabus. So we shall have more questions to come uh, till we meet again.